Love at first sight, sneaking out, risking it all every night. Something but the cane in my hand, pain in my veins. Something that you can't understand, like Travis Bates. There was nothing more addictive. Dr. Clerk, yes, sir. I'm here for my prescription. Racking a couple, yeah, I was hardly buying. On to my mission, way, listen for the sirens. Graffiti art to me means breathing life into a, a dead space. That would be my perfect definition. So 94 is when the first time I actually picked up a spray can and it was like, I'm about to start doing graffiti. <laughs> I was so whacked in. I used to always love, love like, you know, subway art and uh, those books about, you know, all the subway graffiti writers from New York. And I don't know, man, like just to, just to paint the colors, dudes was doing uh, comic book stuff on walls. I think it was, it was just something I grasped to because I was to always draw. So I just, I just gravitated to it immediately, man. Like, but you know, you start out just learning about the craft and learning about the skill level it takes, you can control, you know, that sort of thing. So I was in the shower one day, this funny story, man. And then I was just sitting there and I don't know if it was the Outcast album in 96, the Equimini album when he said something like a syntax error to your dome like PE. And I just kept rapping that and I was like, syntax. And I wrote it in the shower, like the steam and shit. And I was like, the same tag, bro. And I was just like, Psh. ever since then, it was syntax, bro. It's been on since that. And how I spelt it, S-I-N-T-E-X. It is the difference between graffiti art and vandalism when people want to label things as vandalism. So I definitely don't think my artwork is vandalism. You know, I think it's artwork, so. My favorite thing to create was spray paint with aerosol paint or graffiti art. Um, I love doing realistic stuff like photorealism. I think that's something I'm, I'm real popular for. I guess I would say that I do. I do a lot of characters. I started doing a lot of characters before I started doing letters. Like I started doing characters because again, I was always gravitated towards, you know, characters, comic books cartoons, so you know what I'm saying? I like doing the Native American things. It's a lot of reasons. Uh, number one is myself. I'm third generation Native American, whether we Sioux and Cherokee. So I'm really just paying homage to the spirits of the ancestors you know, that have been here previously. I have some major accomplishments that I'm actually proud of, man. Like every wall is an accomplishment for me, man. I've made it to, what is the History of Graffiti book? I actually made that. I mean, I'm just listed in there with a, a, a lot of other names from Detroit that came up in my in that area. And I just want to do more, man. I want to be able to, to take my artwork globally and paint in Europe and so on. But, you know what I'm saying? Because the artwork in itself, you know, the stigma of graffiti artists, you know, the galleries. And I want to be able to, you know, have my stuff in galleries. I think it's worth it. I think it's. It could be appreciated in that marketplace. The definition of freedom, you know what I'm saying? What that means, I think that's what my artwork symbolizes more than anything, just being free. Hands in the air if you ever did a scroll. Hands in the air if you ever wanted to let go. Oh, hand drift away, ay. Hand drift away. Hands in the air if you ever want to say. Hands in the air if you ever wanted to say, say. Man, fuck today, ay. Man, fuck today, live by the pain, die by the fumes, live by the pain, die by the fumes, fumes, and fuck the world, world, and fuck the world, live by the pain, die by the fumes, live by the pain, die by the fumes, fumes, and fuck the world, world, and fuck the world.